made it. Check it out, guys. Yeah. I don't want to do it because of. Uh, uh, this way. Uh, like, uh, the other one. Mike, it's still uh, stiff. No, uh, you, we can, can you move it back a little bit? Yeah. Okay. It'll, my, it'll work. Yeah. It's yeah. stiff, but it'll work. <laughs> How about that? Can you push that one more? A little bit more. Okay. That's a little better. Okay. Oh, you got the other one? You do all three. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> hey. Who's the. Why are you leaving? No, oh, I, I need space. So where is it? You need a train set? <laughs> so you the train set, Steve? Mike! Your, your car is done. So before I get started on this video, guys, I wanted to tell you about that little part in the beginning where I said, hey, I made it or something like that. It was because Train World in the summertime isn't open on the, on the weekends, on Saturdays. So when they called me and told me my order was in, I had to try to get there before they closed that day. And they closed, I believe, at 5 o'clock. And I got there at about 4.30. So when I did the video going inside, that's why I was saying, hey, I made it. Hey, how's it going guys? So this is just gonna be a quick video on my visit to Train World not too long ago. I went there about a month ago and I've been running around so much that I didn't have time to do a video. I've been to Train World several times. I've bought from them a few times. They've always been nice. They've always been very helpful. When I went this time, I was talking to Ken Jr. He was very nice. He helped me out. He also told me to uh, make sure I tagged them in the video and all the workers there have always been nice to me, so every time I go there, it's always a great experience. But let's get to what I bought. <clears throat> so the first item that I bought is this Canadian National Four Bay Cylindrical Hopper Car. I bought it because a friend of mine had it on his layout. He had about four of them. And I saw it and I was like, oh, I really like the colors on that. And he's like, yeah, go to Train World. They got them. And by the time I went on their site to get it, they were sold out. So I think I put it on my wish list or something like that. But I happened to see they were back in stock. And I went and picked one up. So if you want to get one, you probably have to get it from them. I think it's a Train World exclusive. But let me open the box so you guys can get a better look at it. Here it is guys. I like how colorful it is. It has nice little details on it. I think it'll be a great addition to all the other rolling stuff that I have. So the next item I bought is kind of a hint at what my next unboxing video is going to be. This is the Rail King GE Evolution box car with power meter. Item number 30-71107. Here it is guys, the Evolution Hybrid power meter car. Has some nice detailing on it. It has the vault meter. I'm guessing that when I put it on the tracks, that meter is probably gonna move. I haven't read up anything on it yet, but I guess that's what it does. 
decent detailing on this too. The door is open. You can see the meters. It's a really nice car. So like I said, now y'all have an idea of what my next unboxing video will be. Uh, so the next item I bought is this big white box right here. And this is Gargrave's Flex Track. I've been using Fast Track for a really long time and I really love it, but I want to try out this Gargrave's on my table. So I'm not getting rid of my Fast Track. I have plans for it in the future, but for now, on my table, I'm going to be switching the track to this Gargrave's track. I've heard really good things about it and I really want to try it out. And the last thing I bought, it's a little UPS box truck. I've been wanting one of these for a while, couldn't find it nowhere. I like this because this is the actual box truck. It's not the Sprinter van, because I have two of the Sprinter vans, I'll show you. You might've seen them in some of my videos, but this is the actual UPS package truck, the box truck. I like these, I've always wanted one, so they had it, so I picked it up. Well, that's it for this video, guys. As you can tell from the things that I bought, there'll be some more videos coming real soon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next video.